Okay, we're going to try to stealth KO him. <laughs> and then we're getting out of here. Here, go, 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 go. Whack! Failed! Oh, sh he turned on a dime. Get out. Go, go, go! Run, 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 run! Faster! Faster than everybody! <laughs> All right, we are back in Kenshi with Azagami and his crew. And we are picking up pretty much from where we left off in the last episode. In that episode, we went out bounty hunting and found the Preacher, the leader of the Preacher cult, and brought him in. I, I was going to say to face justice, but I, I don't know this. <laughs> we'll never know if what he faced was just. But we brought him in, got his bounty. We also got his weapon, which was another Me Too grade weapon to add to our, our ever-growing pile. We have three of them now, so that's pretty cool. And this team has had a chance to rest up and recuperate, sell all the goods we picked up, and pick up some supplies so we can head out on the next leg of our journey. And while we were doing that, I sent someone out from uh, Desert Gamble out to the tavern to pick up as many new recruits as I could find. And we picked up three new recruits, uh, Kimun, Jewel, and Hisa. And we also have the now legendary Ceres, who, if you didn't watch the last episode, ran through Gut all by himself and somehow made it home. So he'll always have a story to tell, I'm sure. We'll turn him into something, something useful. Uh, but... I'll probably be making a uh, habit of uh, hiring from this point forward. We need, we're going to need a bunch of people. As I mentioned in the last episode, I'd like to start being a more formidable presence in this world. I'd like to have a more outsized presence, a large gleaming city, maybe some outposts. And I'd also like to start affecting the world and uh, maybe interacting with some of the people who do already have an outsized presence. But to do that, we're going to need people. I'm going to need a standing army. We're going to need civilians. We're going to need workers. We're going to need fighters. We're going to need security. We're going to need the whole thing. So we'll be making a habit out of that. But in addition to people, we're also going to need rare and precious artifacts, which is what we're going to be focusing on uh, for quite some time, I'm sure. We need ancient science books and engineering research and AI cores and all of that wonderful stuff that makes Kenshi uh, one of the best games. There are many games that have colony management and settlement management, and if you want to build more things, you park someone in front of a research bench until they research enough stuff. But with Kenshi, you have to do that as well. But before they can even research the good stuff, you have to go adventure into the darkest corners of this continent and some of the most dangerous places. And so that's what we're going to be doing. The team is probably, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we're finally at a point where it's not, oh, wow, I forgot. I completely forgot that we made friends with the United Cities by turning in so many bounties for this entire game. So we have a lot of allies in this region. But yeah, like I was saying, I think we're at a point where I'm not super worried about getting an entire squad wipe by running into a handful of uh, over-leveled people. We'll see, but that's where we're going to start pushing. So, in the last episode, I mentioned I'd like to go out here. I'm pretty sure we discovered these by way of maps. One just says Ruin, one just says Factory, and they don't have... They're not red, they don't have any kind of, like, special names. So I think we're going to head out here, and we'll see. It's called the Forbidden Isle, which has me a little bit worried because... This entire area is called the Forbidden Zone, and I will say after having gone down here, yes, it is, yes, do pay attention to everything they say. When they tell you not to come down here, <laughs> here, don't come down here. It is hella dangerous. Now, I don't know if this is going to be some holdout of other robots that were pro possibly from the Ashlands a thousand years ago and spread their way out here as more thralls, or this will be some other awe. There's probably just like a hundred beak things like right here waiting for us. But either way, we're going to find out. We're going to do that right now. Enough yammering from me. All right, out we go. Now, as I mentioned, the team uh, had slept and recuperated. Um, and I went, there's three bars in this town, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, and they are kind of filled. But we're going to make a note, a mental note to come back here and see if there's anybody worth hiring. I really just talked to the barkeep, rented some beds, traded some goods, and then headed out. But I do want to hire people. But if I hire somebody, they're just going to have to run through gut again to get home, or we gotta babysit them for a while, so... Probably smarter if I really do want them to make it, that we check on the way back. I feel like I've set this pack beast to block like 900 times, and he keeps coming off of block somehow. It's gotta be me that's doing it, but... I feel like he keeps coming off of block. I'm really worried this thing's going to die. <laughs> it is a fantastic addition in terms of being able to carry stuff nice and easily. I do not know if... The team will eat out of an animal's backpack. They should eat out of any backpack, I suppose. But there is a special setting in the um, AI tab of the game settings 
that says uh, feed animals. But there is no special setting for uh, eat out of animal backpacks, so hopefully we will. I could probably test that and just put all of the food, no matter what, into the uh, Pack Bulls backpack. But um, for now, each of the team members have a fair amount of food in their packs for the most part, and we'll leave them that way. I think I've mentioned before, one of the things I have read, I don't know if it's necessarily true, but one of the things I have read is that your team will eat out of other players' backpacks, but only when they are very hungry, like after a certain point of hunger. So if you want to keep them very well fed, put food in their own backpacks. Who is fighting out here? That is another thing, too, we have to do. We have to head back out to deal with the Reavers, who I think are about to come deal with us. Were they running towards us? They just started sprinting. We, We what? Following and talking. Alright, let's, let's do this. Let's pull the pack bowl over here. We are... <laughs> we are what? And we'll pull the archers over here. Just get ready. And we'll pull you guys. We are chaos. Okay. And uh, everybody but the pack bull. Attack all. Beautiful. Yeah, literally, you fight the reavers now. Remember that, whelp. You fight for the reavers now. Who are you talking to? Oh, someone up here. All right, maybe we'll come help you. You are a reaver slave. All right, whatever. Yeah, we got to go back and deal with the reavers. I think we went into, like, reaver headquarter, but I didn't realize it. There's a spot out in, like, Stobes Gamble or, or beyond where there's, like, a bunch of buildings. I think we went into one of their camps or something, but I didn't realize it was one of their camps. Oh, someone's getting up. Attack target. Oh, it's a slave. We could have unlocked you. All right. Everybody get healthy, or I guess deal with these guys coming up. Atmos gonna... Dive in right away. Alright. You, I want to help you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, team's good. Where's the pack bull? Oh, he came down. Alright, he didn't get hurt though, that's good. What we're gonna do is we're going to find the uh, slaves, and we will unlock their shackles. Maybe we will specifically first aid them as well. If the slaves can wake up first and get out of here, then, you know, good luck to them. Now, we could um, steal all their stuff, obviously, but I think we're just going to get out of here because... Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I mean, there's a ruin. If we make it all the way out here, there's a ruin that I would like to, um, hopefully pilfer. <laughs> we will loot. All right, let's start cutting up towards the cult village. Oh, that's very interesting. The cult village is still hostile. They have no, uh, preacher cult leader. Whoops, there's one more, one more slave. Let's take care of that. Our good deed for the day, our good karma for us heading out into the desert. You know, he's waking up. You did it! That's right, I did. Now, let's see what he does. <laughs> Hope this comes back to you somehow. Oh, he almost, almost was friend. Oh! Now, let's see what he does. Just get out of here. Yeah, good, go. No, you're gonna fight us. Alright, you idiot. <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> you moron. Alright, whatever. Yeah, so like I was saying, we cleared out this cult village, or at least, we didn't clear it out, actually. We we cut off the head. We brought in their leader. I would imagine that something like that has to be tied to a state. A world state, as it were. So I imagine there'll be some changes there. I don't know if enough time has passed or enough distance has passed, probably, technically, with the game. That probably has to completely load out by us going away and then load back in when we come back. But it'll be interesting to see what's going on at that uh, village and maybe come back at some point. See how they're doing. Maybe someone else has taken over. Or someone else has become a new uh, preacher cult leader. 
All right, we can see the preacher uh, cult's farm in the distance. Oh, it's ruined. Oh, look at that. It's already ruined. All right, maybe we'll stop and take a look at our our dastardly handiwork. <laughs> Man, I will say it is a huge bummer um, for this game particularly and the fact that I have not really seen this properly solved with mods, uh, but that you can't take over ruined cities. Whether you ruin them yourself or whether you find them in ruin. Like, there's a couple of, like, farm fishing villages that are out in, um, out in the southeast, out by the southern United Cities. That would be really awesome to be able to come, like, rebuild. Like, there should absolutely be, like, a, a rebuild option and claim. There are mods that add that functionality of, like, claiming cities or like taking over cities or or overpowering or vassalizing cities but i have not messed around with them but it seems like for most of the comments i've seen there are mixed results depending on what else you got going they can be a little finicky the game was not intended to function this way which is a bummer hopefully that is something you can do in kenshi too like big time one of the coolest things about this game is that you can actually affect the world even if it's in some small ways but so it seems like, I guess this is just going to be ruined. No one has taken it over. It's not like Reavers or Bandits have moved in. All right, I was going to say let's hit the road, but there is no road. We're on Storm Gap Coast. Let's uh, set a point for the choke point into the Forbidden Isle. But yeah, I would be super happy if there were a lot more ways to uh, affect the world around you in a sandbox style in the next game. Now we're walking into a forest, which has me a bit nervous. It makes the sight lines a little bit difficult. These areas certainly are beautiful, but it is tough. Also, this is another really awesome area. Let me guess, there's no anything. Dude, what do you do to raise your prospector skill? He's prospected so many times. Asagami prospects everywhere we go. It might not always make it into the episode, but I think I've prospected everything in this entire game. Maybe that's just like a leftover. Man, speaking of leftovers, I went and uh, played the earliest demo version of this game I could find um, because I did not play this game until it was out. This was not on my radar. I know this is like one of the earliest Steam green lights. Who is this out here? United Cities. Nice. A patrol of United Cities. That is good to see. That'll be uh, helpful to us, I hope. But yeah, I had never experienced um, what this game was like early on in development and went and played uh, the earliest demo I could find, which was a little rough. Uh, but also there's a, um, a rollback on Steam um, where you can, uh, in the beta, you can pick a legacy. I think like a 0 0.68 or 0 0.69 version number, like we're after one, it's like 1.0 or one or 1.02 or something right now. Yeah, it was wild seeing like the original building designs, which are also in the forgotten buildings mod, which I have. But like how they were laid out and like how they did the map was completely different. The cities are all really close together. It was very interesting seeing like how this becomes this, like how that game became this one. I would absolutely say like the the most impressive change between that what demo version and this is um how very real while still being very fantastical this world feels. This definitely feels like some one, two thousand years post-apocalypse of a livable environment that's not Earth. Like, it has a very realistic feel. The people responsible for the world building really are, are utterly phenomenal. Everywhere you go, you're just like, that's kind of the charm of this game. Like, every, every place you get to, even though, like... It's completely barren. Like, this entire walk is literally a walk, but that makes it even feel more realistic. Like, there's not all these activities all bunched up close together with quest markers. If you want to go travel the desert, you're going to go travel the desert. A big, empty, expansive desert where you might not find anything. And that also... Ooh, that's interesting. That might also... Straw Bandit. All right, let's head out that way. See what they look like. We'll see if we can do some recon. Um... Traveling a great distance across a desert or a forest or a continent, whatever, and finding nothing also feels very realistic. But then that possibility of finding a new city, a new civilization, a new ruin, a new ancient artifact, 
Just like literally, we're traveling through this forest, which is fucking cool as hell. And there's a straw bandit camp. Which we have never met straw bandits before. Oh, I see some more lights in the distance too. Who we got out here? United Cities are scouting all over the place. Alright, straw bandits. Have we met them yet at all? No. I don't see anybody moving. I don't see anybody actually out here. I just see the camp. They could be moving around out here, but I guess we're just going to run into them. I will uh, We'll continue on on the way. Since we don't see anybody over there, there's no sense pushing out that way. We might just run into them if they're, if they're wandering around their camp. Uh, we are sprinting. Why? I don't know this area enough to know if we should stop. Oh, here we go. Who is this? Grass Pirates. Uh, well, rather than take an unnecessary hit, why don't we run you guys out to the United Cities, who will help us now, because we are, um... We're all friends. The road is dangerous ahead, my lord, I know! We've got Grass Pirates. We will join you on your mission. Nice. Alright, hold on. We're going over here. There we go. Only one guy decided to keep fighting, and he's dumb. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're running out to get the rest of them. Guys, how about you all stay here with the United Cities? See what the United Cities do. How strong are these, uh, grass pirates? Why have you not fallen yet? You're not even that strong. You're not doing well. Alright. Oh, wow, there's a whole other group of them. It is not safe. Alright. I'm well more interested in seeing what's on the Forbidden Isle than I am dealing with uh, Grass Pirates, who we fought in the Grey Desert, I believe, or next to the Eye. So what I think we'll do is we're going to take advantage of the fact that these uh, United Cities guards are coming with us. Are they? Are they not? They are, but so are Grass Pirates, but I don't care. We're going to go nice and slow. If they, keep, if they keep or catch up, we will stop and fight them. But for now, we're going to ignore them. They're catching up. They're keeping up. Okay, cool. We'll turn and fight. Come on, United Cities. Oh, somebody did 132 damage. Is that one of our guys? Packbull, what did I say? How are you off block again? Get over here. Get out. You're on passive. You're on hold. You're on block. You're on everything. And you got hit. Mm, probably by one of the United Cities guys. Medkits? Back in my day, we didn't have medkits. Yes, you did. <laughs> All done. You can just buy me a drink and then we'll call it even. Oh my god, we're fighting more people. No, we're, we're helping the, the pack bowl. Okay, cool. Alright, I don't think that's my team. I think the United Cities has uh, left us to go fight more grass pirates. I don't know. I don't know if we lost our friends in that fracas. So be it. Got a little chaotic. We're going to keep pushing on. And I'm going to run through the team and... Ooh, Naganuma, you're not doing the best ever. Can we splint that, Naganuma? Rumble John, you too. Jeez Louise. You know, maybe we'll take advantage of this. Um, maybe we'll take advantage of this. There's no one here. All the, the camp beds are set out already. There's a, a friendly fishing village out a little bit past here. I think what we'll do is we'll tell Crumble John to go to sleep. And, uh, Naganuma to go to sleep. We'll take advantage and stand guard over them while they, uh, get some rest. How's the pack bull doing? He's fine. Somebody's moving out here. Scavengers. Ah, oh, here come some scavengers. Here they come at high speed. Come on, United Cities, do something about that. Thank you, yes, cool. Who just got hit? The scavenger. Okay, I thought the pack bull did. All right, let's do this. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't check for, um... I did not check for bounties on any of the people we've been knocking down. Now, we do still have the United Cities with us, but I'm not really interested in, uh, losing Crumble Drone, so... Might give that a second. Nakama, why don't you loot this player while the rest of the scavengers come up on us? United Cities is leaning into the fight. We might just let them. Looks like we're gonna get involved, too. That's fine.
Oh man, there's even more bad guys out here. There's scavengers too. Oh, the pack bull's getting beat up by somebody. Get over here, pack bull. Why did you hide? Did I put you out there? Again, you're off block. Does does clicking take you off block? Oh my god, it is never going to end. There's just too many bad guys out here. <laughs> well, there is a camp here. No, 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 you get over here. Get over here. Who are you? Get over here, Mercurio. Alright, it looks like we're okay. Oh my god, this is crazy. There's so many bad guys here. Also, luckily, there's so many people on our side. Surprisingly lucky. But I got team members, like, spread across to the four winds. Alright, everybody. Circle up. Everybody, back over here. Fucking pack bull took a hit to the chest. This is what I'm talking about. This thing's too squishy. How you doing, Crumble John? Terribly? Terribly. Oh, man, there's still... Look at what's... Look at this! I mean, thank God those are good guys. To us. I mean, they're they're terrible. They're slavers. <laughs> Alright, let's get all healed up. Everybody over here and fucking knock it off. Now, how about carrying me to a bed so I can sleep it off, huh? Uh, yeah. We can do that. No, Atmos, you're fine. Everybody's fine. Quiet down. You're all fine. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put in the high gear. The United Cities might leave us in a bit. That's fine. If anything, they can help us guard here, but I don't want to push into what is literally called the Forbidden Isle. This is already bad enough. <laughs> I don't want to go into the Forbidden Isle until until we know we're in a little bit better shape. All right. Max speed. There's still tons of fighting going on around by us. United Cities have our backs, though. Luckily enough, there are slave traders uh, fighting with whomever's been passing back and forth. <laughs> this is... An incredibly populated area. Also, you know what? Azagami, why don't you prospect here as well? Oh my god! The water, the fertility, the stone. Good enough. A little bit of iron somewhere. We'd have to find copper. If I wanted copper. <laughs> Could just make copper somewhere else and truck it out here or buy it. This is a nice little spot. It'd be cool to block this off. I don't love the idea of losing these guys while I could be using them. And it's just so busy around here, but... I don't... Crumble John's gonna take one more hit and he's going to die. Everybody's good except for Crumble John. Crumble John crumbled. And that is truly unfortunate. I'd love to see him get above 60. If we can get him above 60, which he's doing, he's on his way, we're gonna head out. And hopefully these guys come with us. All right, there, he's 60. We're going. Crumble John, you idiot. Get up. <laughs> and just while we've got this help, let's just go see what's so forbidden about Forbidden Isle. Oh, wait, I don't think we have help anymore. Maybe. Let's see what they do if they defeat these guys and run back to us. They do. Oh, that's so good. All right, we're pushing in. Into the Forbidden Isle we go. With our backup of... United Cities Guards. Who are actually really not great stats. Eh, they're fine. They're not as good as us. I don't know how much longer we have them, because they've been with us for quite a long time. But they are very interested in stopping to fight everybody. Alright, and we are in the Forbidden Isle. So far, so good. I don't want to jinx it, but, you know, famous last words. What are we heading for? Uh, I guess I'll click the factory. Just so that they pick a good pathfinding to the factory. And we'll go see what's in the factory. Hopefully it's not Catlon 2. It's probably just another ruin, one would hope. Oh, 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 oh. I see... Security spiders. What are these called? Spider bots? Iron spiders. Alright, so there's a whole column of iron spiders there. Alright, so it's going to be another Ashlands. 
It's not ashy, obviously. It's not actually another Ashlands, but... I'm gonna guess... Son of a bitch! <laughs> of course it's Acid Rain! Alright. Alright, everybody's got at least some kind of Acid Rain protection. Alright. Hilarious. Friggin' hilarious. So, of course, it's Acid Rain. <laughs> but everybody's got at least some kind of Acid Rain protection. Everybody's okay to some extent. I'm gonna check on the base real quick. We are fighting who? Rebel Farmers. Rebel Farmers came into the bar and started trouble. Well, you guys have it under control, that much I know. We'll stick with the scout team. We gotta watch out for... Uh, robot Spiders. We've seen a column of those. So I'm gonna guess this is... It's Forbidden Isle. And the Forbidden Lands, we get... We had to hear a lot about. I'm not gonna be surprised if this is filled with... Oh! Iron Spiders, yeah. Alright, let's do what I love to do. Let's run the coast. You run the coast because... There's only one direction that... Trouble can come from. Oh, uh, is this gonna be like the southwest where it just... It just acid rains forever and ever and ever. That's not gonna be fun. Iron spiders are one thing. We can outrun iron spiders by like literally this speed we outrun them. I'd like to make sure we don't run into beak things or gorillas or who the hell knows what's out here. Oh, I think I see the um, factory. No, nope. it is some kind of rock formation. Hmm, interesting. So a lot of the team doesn't have enough acid rain protection. That's not awesome. We're going to have to, um, probably going to have to duck into the factory no matter what it is. Hopefully it's, it's not a city of beak things. <laughs> we haven't seen anything other than the couple of columns of iron spiders we saw. Oh, so I feel like, you know, we have to run into something else. Throngs of screamer unit thralls. Oh, I see crap. Oh! There's the factory. Is that the factory? Probably. Oh, we're loading. Let me let it load. I also see a crab. Crab, yeah. All right. There's an ancient factory. Ancient factory. Very interesting. All right, let's get out to here. I Again, I don't want to tangle with crabs. I don't know if it's going to be crab raiders out here. I mean, crabs can kind of be anywhere. Crabs also do like to swim um and we were gonna try to swim this once so i wouldn't be surprised if for, oh no yeah i was gonna see if i could walk all this which uh where is that can you see that yeah, i guess it's all that all right we're gonna have to go in if that is if i can go in we're gonna have to go into whatever that is goddamn skin getting burn off yeah this is not ideal I brought some camping supplies. We can make a mercenary tent, which I believe should shield us from acid rain. We might do that before we go into this thing. You know, let's do this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go all the way over to the to the edge of the water. And we're going to be smart. We still got our United Cities with us. That's awesome. And here's what we're going to do. Grab both of these camping supplies. And let's build a tent we can all try to stand under. <laughs> All right, I think I actually did it. Oh, yeah, I did it. Awesome. All right. Ah, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> All right, we're smart for once. All right, I don't know how much that got cut out because it took a minute to try to figure out how to get this thing built and get all these people in the right place. But we brought a mercenary tent along with us. I brought some camping supplies. We built a mercenary tent, and it's working. These guys are not getting burned alive. Uh, so they're all healing up. While they heal up, we're going to take Hiramatsu. Our resident uh, speed demon. We're going to get her to run out here and do the same thing we did in the Ashlands. She will do some scouting. Oh, shit. Are the United Cities following her? Well, that's unexpected. <laughs> ah, shit. Who's who's as fast as she is? Sasabi, are you the one with the leg? Oh, you're the one with the leg. All right, here, Matsu. Go get back, where, go get back over here. All right, I made a mistake. Sasabi. I don't know why I always think it's here, Matsu. Sasabi is going to go scout Hang's tail. Oh, is that what this is? Hang's tail? Oh, shit. We have to go explore that. All right. 
100, not right now. We're going to continue doing what we're doing. But if that's got a name, I have to know if there's anything there. All right. New plan. Hiramatsu, go get back under the tent. You'll be fine. Dasabi, you're good too, right? You got 130% protection? Yeah, you're so good. It defies description. Now, like I was saying, we're going to do the same thing we were doing in the Ashlands, where Hiramatsu is going to do some scouting. She's a shadow in the night. She's 37 miles an hour run speed. For some reason, Hiramatsu is the one being followed by all these people. I guess they, they took a liking to her. That's fine. All right, Sasabi's so starting to close in on this place. We've got some spiders out front. I don't think they see us. She's going to go stealth anyway. Yeah, they're just following the leader. Let's come out to the side. She can take all the time she needs. Because this is going to give her an opportunity. Give everyone else an opportunity to heal up under that tent. Which they have already done. Ah, they're getting there. They're getting there. And maybe, just maybe, the, uh, the frickin' rain will stop. Alright, let's get to somewhere where I can see. Let's get... Let's get here. Alright, I think we're gonna go in here. I don't remember how you get... Oh, here's the ramp. I was gonna say, I don't remember how you get up. But I see it. I don't see anything inside, but the things that are inside might not spawn until we cross this threshold. Let's get her over here, in stealth. She's seen by something. Oh shit, she's like right on top of some spiders. She quick ducks back into the shadows. Oh, Hiramatsu, you're the best. Alright, nothing, nothing has popped into existence. Sometimes they like, they load in once you're inside. Uh, uh oh. Oh, cool. Is there anything worth stealing from? Oh, yes. Oh, there are actual hostile iron spiders. Which, oh, there's a lot of them. Shit. Ugh. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm interested in coming to get whatever's up here, but this is a lot of fight for God knows how much stuff. And, uh, let's put this on one-time speed and see if these things are moving. They're not moving. Oh, there's a dude up here. Spider Foreman. <laughs> Alright. Well, here, let's do this. We'll come out of sneak for one second. Just to see. Now we can't talk to him. Alright, I guess this is like a little mini Ashlands. Is he like a Catlon? I am very interested to come get this stuff, but there are so many spiders up here. Let's just, let's come up and see what happens. <laughs> if we gotta, if we gotta run, we run. And maybe we fight a bunch of spiders on the beach. We're faster than, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We're faster than spiders, right? Oh my god, yeah. Dude, I could probably run around this room picking locks, outrunning these fucking things. <laughs> How fast is this guy? Eh, he's a little, oh shit! Holy shit! Okay, huh. All right. Damn. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just check. Do we still have our United Cities? We do. Maybe we purposefully drag him out of here. All right, we're doing it. This is what we're going to do. We're going to run up past... We're faster than this guy. We're going to run up past him. Okay? <laughs> and we're going to drag him back to the beach. <laughs> Where there's a bunch of United Cities guards waiting to beat him up. Hopefully. I mean, we'll see. If he's another fucking Catlon and no one interferes. I have never heard of the Spider Foreman. So he can't be that important. He looks really cool. That's a good head. He's got like the most, the most like human looking head out of all the robots I've ever seen. Alright, fuck it. We're coming up. We're doing it. I mean, this is what we came out here for. Does he have a, he doesn't have a bounty, right? No, he's just the Spider Foreman. Wait, do we have a bounty for him? Uh, no row. There's one robot. Voodoo Brothers. I, I doubt he's part of the Voodoo Brothers. All right, Sasabi, you're coming up. You're going to come up. You're going to run past this guy. First, let's come up to the corner and see if they notice us. If they notice us, we're going to run past them. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Here she goes. Here she goes. Oh, my God. They don't see us. What's your likelihood of zero? <laughs> I was going to say, could we come stealth KO him? 
And let's get her to creep up just a little bit further. Oh my god, she's a fucking ninja. Do we just try to stealth KO him anyway? Like, that's how we get him to uh, chase us? She's straight up. I'm kind of torn. Do we, do we try to... Do we try to unlock... Uh, there's actually not that much stuff in here. I thought all these were things. I guess these are the spiders they're trying to build. Uh, there's a few locked things. There's probably just going to be a bunch of robot parts. There's nothing major up here. I mean, we're doing it anyway. We're, this is what we came out here for, so... Okay, we're going to try to stealth KO him. <laughs> and then we're getting out of here. Here, go, 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 go. Whack! Failed! Oh, shit. He turned on a dime. Get out. Go, go, go! Run, 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 run! Faster! Faster than everybody! <laughs> she took a hit. Oh, she really did take a hit. All right. Uh, Sasabi. Get back over here. All right, Sasabi. Get down to the bottom floor. And uh, since you're so much faster than everybody, why don't you take a hot second to wait a second? First aid yourself. And we'll let them get down the... Oh, shit. There they come. Holy shit. Things just a tiny bit fast. It is. It's fine. Sasabi, get out over here. And we're just going to keep an eye... No, 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 no. You. Hey, buddy. Buddy. He's not coming up. There he goes. There he goes. Sasabi, run. Run, run, run. Oh, you little bastard. He won't come off of his property. Maybe we lead the United Cities in here and let them uh, take the beating for, <laughs> for us. Uh, Sasabi, why don't we put you back on following Azagami and see that you actually do that. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to move up. Oh, we're ever so slowly healing. How's little Infinite Wing Wang doing? He was the worst off. He's fine. I would love for everybody to be doing good before we head out there. Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna lose these fucking Samurai Scouts. This is this is a fucking catch-22. I gotta be careful with Sasabi, because she just took a fucking whack. And she should not be... Oh, no, she's in a plate jacket, too. Man, damn it. 100% stomach coverage. High grade. Dude, <laughs> this is like, we can't face people that are 80. That dude hit her in the stomach and took off half her health. One more hit and she's dead. Or at least in a coma. Oh, you know what we could do? Since all these fucking guards are following uh, uh, Hiramatsu, we'll take Hiramatsu out there. Hiramatsu, head out. You're up. Take your guards with you while we still got them. All right, so we're going to send Hiramatsu up there, and there's one of two things are going to happen. Either these guys are going to break off the second we enter the vicinity of this place, and they're like, all right, contract's up. Or the second we start attacking, they're going to be like, no thanks. Third possibility, uh, they do our dirty work for us. So let's step out to here and see if they fight this. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, not what I wanted, but they're fighting all of the robots now. Unexpected. Whoops. She's unseeable. That's great. She's got 90% protection. Oh, not what I hoped for. Did they all die? Well, these guys aren't dead, so they sure did. <laughs> uh, we came at exactly the worst time. There's two giant columns of robot spiders. And it seems like her entire patrol is dead. All right, we definitely learned a lesson there. I mean, these aren't the, the highest level guys for whatever reason. Uh, here comes round two for you guys. Sorry. All right, we might have learned a lesson. We might not... <laughs> we might not be strong enough to deal with this. These guys aren't as strong as we are. I mean, like, these guys... This, is, this guy's close. And he got fucking pancaked by two of these things. We're going to go peek in one more time. We're just going to go see if the situation has changed in any way whatsoever. I just want to see what it looks like if we go in. I do not see... Oh, there he is. And she also has a 0% chance to KO. How oh, very interesting. All right, let's see if she can come up here sneaky quiet. We'll see what's inside these things. Let's see if she can pick this lock without anybody noticing. Look at how fast and carefree. She's just like, I don't give a shit. You can't see me. Oh, 
yes. Okay, yeah, no, I guess it makes sense that it'd be AI cores in here. <laughs> Let's see what else we can pick. Can we pick anything else? There's an ancient safe all the way over there. We're getting to that. We're getting to that here. Can we go back here? We can. All right, cool. I didn't know if I'd be able to pathfind back there. Beautiful. All right, here's that dumb robot. I'm stealing your stuff, idiot. <laughs> I don't even care about you. Why would you come to that side? Oh, so scary. They don't even see us. We're completely in the shadows. I love it. A skeleton shredder? Huh. That's horrifying. <laughs> Big money on something good. Come on. You got 90% chance. Yeah, there we go. Something good. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. What else? Ancient Outpost Blueprints. We already know that. Ancient Factory Blueprint Fragment 3. Huh. We'll take that. That might push this, the encumbrance. It did not. All right. Beautiful. Man, this is fantastic. What is that? That's a workbench. What else we got? Did we get everything? Here's another. No, we opened that one already. We're never getting to that. So, I mean, I might just call that. I bet we could get to this. I'm going to try it. I'm going to be dumb enough to try it. Here, let's go. You're the best, Hiramatsu. Look at you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get... <laughs> I'm gonna go get the last one. That's the last one, right? Oh, we didn't check these. We could check that, too. We might end up too heavy. No? Skeleton corpse to... Dude! Who, bin of screamer heads! Skeleton shredder and bin of screamer heads. Um, who has to dispose of skeleton corpses? I guess if we, like, set up in the Ashlands, maybe? I don't know. All right, this is worthless. We'll take the healing stuff. What are these? A weird crate? God damn it. You know I got to look in the weird crate. Let's look into the weird crate. Oh my god. Hiramatsu. He does not see us. This is hilarious. Dude can't see us, and there's nothing in these goddamn weird crates. They exist for no purpose. That is the most underwhelming thing I've ever experienced in my life. That... These should have been filled with the greatest riches of all time. That is very much a bummer. Oh, fuck yes. Engineering research. Exactly what I was looking for. So glad that I looked in there. Hiramatsu, can you walk over there? Ah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Eh, maybe you can. That thing didn't even notice. All right, we're going to hit that back on the way out because that's our way out of here. We're going to go. I'm going to be as dumb as I can. Man, she moves too fast. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Let's see if we can sneak in between these two. <laughs> they don't even notice her. I love it. What else we got? More AI cores and engineering research and uh, ancient science books. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hiramatsu, you're the best that's ever existed. We didn't get to kill this guy. I kind of wish we could, but we... Uh, we lost our entire United Cities force, unfortunately. Fighting spider bots of their own accord. I mean, I guess I walked them right into it. Sorry, fellas. All right, we're going to walk right in front of this thing. There, beautiful. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. All right, that's fine. If we can pick up another garrison of troops at any point, because we have to walk ourselves back out of here, we may end up picking up another uh, collection of troops. And if we can do that, we'll come back in here. For sure. It would have been really nice to lead the um, United Cities up there. Because they would not have been as stealthy as she was. And so she they would have just gotten attacked. Just to see how they do. She didn't take a swing at that guy. He took one swing on us and did 50 damage. So he's no Catlon. Catlon did like 138 damage with one swing. But he's level 80. So that also gives us a good sense of some really high people. I don't know if we've dealt with anybody that high before. I mean, we're all getting up there. Everybody here's doing okay. I mean, that's double... It's basically double where Azagami's at. So that's that's pretty fucking steep compared to us. It's amazing how long you can play this game and still be in over your head. <laughs> I've got 300 hours on this save alone. And I'm still very clearly over my head. All right. I think that's where we're going to leave it. We managed to rob the old factory blind right from underneath that skeleton foreman's nose. Uh, we didn't get to fight him, but perhaps we will on the way back. I mean, we still have to walk our way out of here. But 
there are two places marked on the map, and there is one down and one to go. So when we come back, I think we'll head out to that old ruin that's at the far end of this peninsula. But we will do that in the next episode. So subscribe for more Kenshi, and I'll see you next time.